trapped by this cord. Uh, what's your name? Leave Sharon Fry. How uh, long? How long are you going to wait for the president? You wait all night? Yes, I would. Mm -hmm. I'm from this Kang Elementary, also. Oh, all of you are. Mm -hmm. Good to you. Good to you. And uh, if you could talk to the president, what would you say? Hello, I guess. What if he shook your hand? I would shake that. <laughs> <laughs> You'd say it, huh? <laughs> now let's get this boy's reaction. This is Bob Brand. You just come to see the president? Is yes. What's your feeling about the president uh, politically, do you think? Is he coming? Ooh, let's turn around look. This will be his fifth or sixth speech today. He made several in Tampa this morning. One here at the airport. And here comes the President of the United States. our children. We want to educate our children. We want to provide jobs for our people. And thirdly, we want to provide security for them in their older age. Franklin Roosevelt began it in Social Security. And we're going to contribute to it in providing assistance for those who desire medical assistance as they retire after the age of 62 or 65. Those are some of the things that we want to do. I know there are those who are opposed to it. They opposed everything Franklin Roosevelt tried to do. They opposed everything that Harry Truman tried to do. And now in 1963, when we stand as we do for progress, we still have those who say, no, stop. Let's just forget it. I don't think we want to forget it. I think a majority of the people of the United States are committed to the movement forward of Florida and this country, Cape Canaveral and all the rest symbolize a growing Florida and a growing country. So I'm glad to come here today. I'm going to come back next year and make a longer speech. But I want to express my thanks. I want to express my thanks to all of you. In 1960, which was not so long ago, we carried this county by 65,000 votes or so. This is a great democratic county in a great democratic area in a state which I'm convinced is going to be democratic in 1964 in a democratic country. Thank you very much.